Hey. Hello, everyone. Hello, TV land. Welcome to <laughs> Jesus, the show. Hello. Yeah, we're a little high up. Hey, everybody. I like it better than before. Welcome to the show. I'm gonna crack it at midnight. And do we have a show planned for you tonight? A hell of a show. And, well, a hell of a show, but also, I mean, for me, the real emphasis is on plan. We were having a pretty yeah. schedule tonight. Yeah. A really big deal. Well, I was doing something that I don't remember. Brian was actually writing out the whole plan of the show. What was I doing? I don't remember. I left the room for some reason. And... I went to get my penis box, and Brian wrote out the whole thing. Yep. Um, first on the list, hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Um, I hope you all enjoyed uh, four and a half hours of that one girl's face and that other girl's ass. Yeah, and before that, there was a photo of uh, a dog butt with glasses. A dog butt with glasses on it. Yeah. yeah. Those were great, man. Yeah, so um, that's been uh, the programming um, for... For today. Uh, next on the list is, how was your day? How was your day? My day, yeah, it was all right. It was an okay day. It wasn't anything special. You slept in? I did sleep. I slept in. I missed my class at Tufts. I slept in, and uh, it was embarrassing, but it felt good. I slept like 10 hours, 9 hours, 9 and a half hours. Maybe. I slept not many hours. I was at the same class, but I actually made it, but I kept falling asleep. Fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's not fucked up. Uh, anyway, wow, look at all the people that are already on here. Yeah, it's great. Hey, take hey. that. What's up? Take that, late night. Yeah, we got a we have a Facebook page, page, and we're gonna have events now. We have a Facebook page. Yeah, man, you're an admin on it. Look at your fucking Where? notifications, dude. No Come one on. tells me this. Look, right, right there. Wait, go there. There. I'm oh, with the administrator great. on the, the event and on the with the, the with that with that awesome uh, drawing Nikki, that Sam did yeah 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 the drawing that's the event but you're on the other one too okay. you're not even going to Brian is not attending this I'm event. not going I'm gonna decline in any case uh, I actually almost didn't come tonight I felt like really like a hell of he he day. he was yelling a little bit he was very frustrated it was a bad night but um, writing writing code it's it's it not working it's fine it's fine so anyway. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the service so far. We hope you all had a good day. Um, because I like you, and I want you all to be happy. Um, hey, how's the sound, everyone? Is the sound okay? Just want to make sure. Anyone play us a song? We'll play a song. Oh, actually. Oh, actually. Guess what is first? Uh, we we need a theme song for the show, and that's why Sam's going to do ukulele. And we 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 got to write it. We're gonna write the song right now. Here, you can. You got a pencil. I got a pencil. We lyrics. And we need lyrics and and um, uh, you know, good chord progression. So, so we're gonna play stuff. Tell, tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like, and throw some lyrics at us. Yeah, need lyrics for the show. Oh, the, the, the fuzzy sound. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of day day to day. The sound um, is pretty good or not quite so good, and. I don't, think, I don't know why. I don't know. Um, Sam White, just by the way, for all you viewers right now, Sam White is planning a huge upgrade uh, fairly soon. He's, he's very much, um, we're live, by the way. Uh, he's planning a, a, a huge upgrade with a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, look, there's the green screen. It's that arcade platform. Uh, anyway, he's planning a huge upgrade uh, with a platform and a new computer and a better camera on a tripod and a whole bunch of crazy it's stuff. It's going to be great. All um, types of crazy crap. Um, anyway, so, better sound is to come, for sure. Anyway, okay, so, we got our theme song. Our theme song. Theme song. E minor C, G, D. We got it. Uh, double time, double time. I mean, not, not double time, it's in, uh, to do it, you know, one, two, three, four, seven, like, one, one, two, three, uh, like, of course, keep the chords going half as long. Oh, got it. Baloney wells need to be uh, baloney, baloney, uh, baloney wells. Oh, beluga wells. Oh, beluga. I don't know if it's baloney. 
How are we gonna how are we gonna relate to the whales to ourselves and, and our our show? Well, um, I often like to speak like whales. Uh, I don't know how beluga whales really talk. Uh, do they do whale songs like the rest of the whales? I, I think they do, but I think they're more squeaky. They're more high pitched, more like dolphins, more like the whistle and okay. the clicks. Excellent. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, Eric. Oh, that was a whale. Well, guy. Oh, so so I think I think we should just um, I think you should do you should do. We should write this chord progression down. E minor C G D. E minor C G D. We're gonna have the wailings of me. I think we should break down into a whale like solo at some point. Okay, a whale solo. So we'll have, have the normal thing. With songs, lyrics about the show and how great it is, and then we break down to a whale song at the end. Yeah. That sounds good? Yeah. Like okay. That. Yes. Like that. Cool, that's what we're going to do. So that's it for, for now. It's... <laughs> you can't get me back. You can't get us here. You can't get us here. That's the sun. That's the sun. Right what the hell is wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. I, think I didn't make that up. Stick with that. Like a no. What was that? We're writing that down. That was F G C. F G C. Can you remember that? You can't get me back. You can't get me back. You can't get me back. You Bastard. You're watching the show. You're watching the show. Okay. Take his computer. I am in you. All right. Theme song finished. Hooray! Um, we should sing it together now, okay? Okay. One, two, three, four. Friday night. Friday night. You're watching the show. That's good. All right. All right. Hey. Oh, by the way, we won't forget it. Because we're recording this now. We're recording everything. And soon, very, very, very soon, we're going to have a YouTube channel with all our past episodes that you can watch literally any time during the day. And um, not just a minute. There will there'll be a link from our, our Facebook page where mm -hmm. you can look. I don't think there'll be, it'll be too hard if you search McCracken at Midnight with Brian the Bastard. Like, there's not going to be like a million groups called that, I don't think. So it should yeah. be pretty easy to find on Facebook. Yeah, check us out on Facebook. I invited almost all of you. Everyone that's looking, just... Facebook.com slash McCracken and Midnight with Brian the Bastard. Uh, and um, like us on Facebook, and we'll, we'll have a Google channel, or a YouTube channel pretty soon. And uh, it's going to be great. Okay. Um, I think we're moving on to a, a subject that has to do with this. This is actually... Well, yeah, that's why I thought I might... Uh, I don't know. Are we going to do that? That one there? Get people to watch? Yeah, you just take that. Y'all are, uh... We're all are watching. And how many viewers do we have tonight? We By are way, at 13 right now. Holy shit. Uh, I think that might be a record. No, we, we have, like, we have seven, 17. Our first episode, well, our first uh, thing, we had 17 people. It's still good, though. That's 13 people who, like, aren't watching, like, Johnny Carson right now. Yeah. Actually, Johnny Carson Johnny, hasn't been on Johnny for, like, 50 off. years. But, uh, what day is it? It's <laughs> Monday at midnight. What's on right now? Say yes to the dress. That's all I can do. Okay. 13 people who aren't wearing, watching say yes to the dress. Which is good. They might be wearing a wedding dress. Oh, Christine apparently paused that to watch this. Okay. <laughs> Does not surprise me. In any uh, case, all right. So, yeah, watch. Why is internet TV so important, though, Brian? Um, because we can say fuck on it. Fuck! Number one. Number one. Oh, um, we can say fuck number one. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, um... Uh, yeah, uh, this is free media, people. Um, this is what the internet means. It's awesome. Um, if I can get serious on you, even just a little bit. Just get serious, just for a second. For one second. Um, 
Even though we play butts on this channel, it's actually really serious. It's really uh, important, you know, and this this is just going to grow and grow. People like you are watching it, and um, you're making it grow, and uh, Sam White is making it better and better. And he was the man for even starting it. Yep. He's making it grow, and um, yeah, people are watching us say fuck instead of watching say yes to the dress. Fuck. And gosh. that just means, you know, it's... Um, Media's becoming more democratic with the internet, and uh, um, it also means that uh, s since things, I was playing around with an old black and white TV today, fucking around with the antenna and the tuning, and uh, it also means that now since uh, TV isn't broadcasting, those uh, signals, those uh, airwaves are being used for all kinds of weird stuff, and you can make cool sounds and video distortion on yeah. TVs, and that's important too. Yeah, it is important because it's. Uh, it's 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 using the technology that already exists to do something new. So I mean, it's it's not just like mindless shit. It's actual yeah progress it's creation progress it's progress. That's what it's using progress. towards a, a an artistic middle class and um, a uh, completely completely democratic media. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, tonight's show. Let's just let's just break it down real quick. Um, we're going to talk a little, we just did that. I'm going to talk a little about, about something that I like in a few minutes. We have a great new segment. We have a great new segment coming on later, but, uh, oh, are you talking about that segment? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we're doing that. Um, then we're going to we're gonna talk about some movies, because the Oscars are on last night, so we're going to talk about some movies. Um, then art and stuff is going to happen. Um, Brian's going to talk about video games for a little while. Then we're going to have our newest segment, uh, which actually, the name of it came out of our first, it, it, it's, a, it's a guest star segment. We're having our first guest star tonight, our first interviewee. And um, the name of it actually came out of, it's, it's, it's in honor of our first guest star. So the said name of the segment is Care Comments, spelled C-A-R-E. But our first guest is Care Ferguson, so Care Comments. Anyway, that, we're going to have that, and then we're going to wrap up the show with singing the comments. So, um, um, shout out to Butts, by the way. Shout out to Butts. That's just for you, Dana. Shout out to Butts. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to talk real quick about comic books. This is a segment called Sam Gushes About Comic Books and Says Things You Don't Understand. Uh, unless you read comic books. Unless Max is watching. Or possibly Corrine. Or... Alexi. I don't know what he's talking about. That's yeah, okay. But I'm still interested. To be honest... I haven't actually read comic books in about two months. No, a month and a half, which is uh, painful in my heart. I, my heart is on fire. Uh, yeah, free, free, free range journey lives. Thank you. Free range journey does live. In any case, um, I haven't read comic books in a while because I don't have any money. Um, but that's okay because I can still talk about it in excess to the point where your ears will bleed. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about... Um, both, you know, the big, two big publishers are Marvel and DC. Those are like, those are the big ones, you know what I mean? You got Superman and Batman and Green Lantern and Wonder Woman, the Justice League in the DC universe. In the Marvel universe, you got Spider-Man, you got, uh, you know, all those people. You got Captain America, you have other superheroes, and, um, those are my favorites. That's why you got the X-Men, you got the Avengers, you got all those people. Anyway, uh... And superheroes are awesome. I love superheroes. But right now, comics are just not very good. Uh, they were good for a little bit, a couple of years, about a year and a half ago. Um, after Marvel did this whole, Marvel had ten, Marvel had a decade of really depressing comics. Or comics. They had Avengers Disassembled, and then they went into House of M, and then they went into Civil War. And then they had Secret Invasion. And then they had uh, something else. And then they had freaking something, they had Siege, and they had all this stuff, and it was all just so depressing, and sad, and like, mean, people um, were dying. If I remember, like, Batman probably died like a dozen times. That's, I'm getting there, that's DC. Okay. We're talking about Marvel right now, okay, right? Okay, sorry. See, what I tell you. Uh, in any case, they had a decade of really sad comics, and through the whole thing, there was one comic, which my, was my favorite comic, which is the comic that got me to read comics, it was Ultimate Spider-Man by Brian Bendis and Mark Bailey. He started in the year 2000. And it was actually an alternate universe comic to the rest of the Marvel Universe. It was Spider-Man, 15 years old, growing up in Queens, going to some high school. Uh, and, you know, he's Superman, but he's a teenager. He's got to, you know, fall in love with Mary Jane. And he's got to do all this crazy stuff. Spider-Man, you said he's Superman. Sorry, Spider-Man. 
and he's 15 years old. So yeah, that was the best comic. It was such a good comic too. It had it had bad points. It jumped the shark, but then it brought it back. In any case, that was really good. But the rest of the Marvel universe was really bad. X Men was good for a while, but then started getting really confusing. And then they did Whedon's X Men, which is really, 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 really good. But then it got bad again because they had like a million characters. After Civil War, they were split up into so many different directions. And then they did like after House of M, and then they did uh, freaking Manifest Destiny. And then they moved to San Francisco. And it was like, why are they in San Francisco? And then I thought they were underground in San Francisco, but really they moved to Utopia, the island. It was just really confusing. So X Men is blown out of the water. Meanwhile, Avengers has new Avengers. They've got Avengers. Just as, they've got uh, they've got new Avengers. They've got the regular Avengers. And then they did after Siege, where Asgard on Earth got thrown apart. Loki and uh, Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin and the Red Hood and all these people. Well, it wasn't the Red Hood. I don't remember his name. Anyway, all these people doing crazy stuff, capturing Asgard, trying to kill all the Asgardians just because they hate the world. Wait. Wasn't Red Hood the Joker? And what was he doing? It's a different thing. It's a, it's a different, it's a different, different universe. It's a different. different. I don't think Red Hood was his name. I don't remember what his name was. Max would know. In any case, all these people destroy Asgard. Asgard is destroyed. But it's oh, and the Sentry. The Sentry goes fucking crazy. He's like this demon god, and they have to kill him. Anyway, uh, so all this stuff happens, and then after that, they're all like, and the Superhuman Registration Act is over because. Tony Stark isn't in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. anymore. Nick Fury is still in hiding and stuff like that. So they put Steve Rogers, Captain America, of course they put him in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because who else is going to be in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D.? So anyway, he's there, and uh, he's like, fuck the Superhuman Registration Act. Fuck all that. That's all done. So people come out of hiding and shit like that. And, um, and they're going to start the Heroic Age, which was like, right in 2010, was like this push to make all comics like super happy and like, you know, lifting cars off of people and saving babies and cats out of trees and shit like old that. Old school. Old school, because that's what made comics so good, was that the superheroes were good people. Not just normal people with superpowers that had normal people problems and that had affairs and people died and people were sad, people lost babies and stuff like that and they complained all the time. No, they're superheroes who like are above society, they're trying to help people, they're there because they want to serve and protect. That's what makes comic books so good, because the superheroes are real people. In any case, that was good for a little while, but then it just got more confusing. And now the X-Men, they did the whole schism thing, and now they're doing Children's Crusade, which is the best comic there is. But it's getting confusing, and now they're just going to continue it with Avengers vs. X-Men, which just seems to be what Children's Crusade is. I don't understand why they're doing that. It really doesn't make any sense. It's the same story, but they're doing that. And now they're bringing Phoenix back. That's the preview image we're getting, is the Phoenix is actually coming back because Jean Grey died back in, like, 2005 or six or whatever in the new X-Men. Grant Morrison, man, what the hell? Why would you do such a thing? Of a stroke? Do you have a stroke? In any case... Uh, so that, but through all of that, Ultimate Spider-Man was the best comic. They had Ultimate Spider-Man, they actually killed Peter Parker halfway through. They actually killed Peter Parker. Hmm? Yes, yes, but just for a little while. We'll oh. both be dead. Hang on, just a second. We'll come sign in just a minute. Uh, anyway, um... Peter Parker, they actually killed Peter Parker. Killed Peter they Parker. killed Peter Parker. They killed Ultimate Spider-Man. Isn't, isn't, he, isn't he like 12 now, you just said? No, he was, he, was, he was 16. Yeah, okay, so now the new kid is like 12 years old. Miles Morales, he's half Puerto Rican, half black. He's great. Spider-Girl, who is Spider-Man's clone, is like, whoa, what's going on? Anyway, yeah, we just got busted. No, it's cool. Um, anyway, so that's all going on. And that has been the best comic the whole time. But Marvel, the rest of Marvel, is just not really doing good at all. It's just, it's really disappointing. So anyway, then DC, holy crap, I'm not even going to get into how crappy that was. After Final Thank Crisis, you. they killed Batman, then they did Flashpoint, and the Flash, like, fucked up the whole world. It all got flipped over now they're in a different universe, and every single character in the Justice League is just an asshole. They're all just mean to each other. Superman's just a dick. Batman's mean. There are a couple good comics, but there are only three. Animal Man. If you're not going to read comics, Animal Man right now is really, 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 really good. Batman and Robin, super good. And Batman the Dark Knight, also a really good comic. But those are the only three I would read in the DC Universe. In any case, other than that, we have Invincible from Image Comics, which is the best superhero comic right now. It's on, like, issue 92 or something like that. It's so freaking good. They do huge, epic stories with, like, crazy violence and stuff like that. Freaking Ryan Otley is an amazing artist. So that's a really good comic. And then we got the whole Hellboy Universe with Hellboy and ATV and All right, Sam... They're calling for boobs, so I'm going to have to cut you off and show them our boobs. I'm going to have to show boobs to keep ready? viewers. Ready? One, two, three. Go, boobs! Guys. That's all you got. Okay. Anyway, all right. Well, that's comics, because... Uh, 
there's a lot more to talk about, but I guess I will stop. Right now. Next week, we actually gained a viewer in that time. Next week, we're going to have 10 more minutes of Sam ranting about comics. 10 months. more minutes. Uh, <laughs> you covered it easy at night. Yeah, I did. Was that really 10 minutes? Wow, that was 10 minutes. Yeah, you I was talking pretty fast. fast. Um, <laughs> want to talk about movies? Yeah, let's talk about movies. We have to go sign in, though. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what? Sam, did you watch the Oscars? I did watch the Oscars. I didn't watch the Oscars, so I'm going to go sign in right now. Sam's going to talk about how I watched the, the Oscars. And then I'm going to come back talk about not watching the Oscars, and and uh, Sam's going to sign in. Yeah. So, okay, so, see you soon, Brian. No, Walter is not here, because it's midnight, and Walter likes to sleep. In any case, all right, here's the deal, guys. The Oscars this year. They were very upsetting. I did not like anything with the Oscars. Uh, all the nominations, I didn't care when the nominations come out, because most of them were just bad. And really, I just care about the Best Picture nomination. But, and, and those are the only ones that were actually bad. None of the other ones were bad. But the Best Picture nominations, I, I just don't, it's like now that they, you know, four years ago or five years ago, whatever, they added the extra five. So now there's ten, but for some reason they just have nine this time, which is which is fine. They can they can they can do less. I actually like that. But they went from five to ten, and now I think that they feel it's like it's like it's like racial diversity in the best picture nomination. So now they have to include a movie from like every genre of film, and it just doesn't work because. But granted, I haven't seen all the I I didn't see all the best picture nominations, but you get movies like War Horse and Hugo, which again I haven't seen the movies. I'm sure they're great and stuff like that. But if there were just five, those would not have gotten nominated. These are the best picture nominations, the best movies of the year. I saw a few of the movies, and Tree of Life was a great film. I'm so glad it got nominated. It completely deserved to get nominated because it was made over, what, seven years or whatever like that. Or something like that. It was made over seven years. It took them seven years to make. The kids in the movie are babies and also 12-year-olds. It's insane. Anyway, it took them that long to make. And then, uh, and it's a beautiful film. It's just like, it's unbelievable. It's got dinosaurs in it. Uh, that right there is enough for it to, uh, that, that right there is enough for it to get nominated. It, they had dinosaurs in a movie about a kid. There were dinosaurs. In any case, so that was great. The Artist, which I haven't actually seen yet. I'm going to watch it real soon. But, I mean, I, I have to say, just from what it is, of course it's going to get nominated, and it should get nominated. It's a silent film in black and white, and it's boring. Like, it's 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 kind of a, a groundbreaking film. In any case, Brian's coming back now, so I'm going to hurry this up. What didn't get nominated? Try. Why didn't that get nominated? For those of you who saw it, you have to agree with me. It was such a good movie. Drive was just amazing. But instead, we got War Horse, and we got Hugo, and we got Tintin. And I don't even remember what else was not made, because I don't care. The rest, uh, of the, the rest of the, I'm really glad the artist won. I'm really glad that people won the awards that they won. Meryl Streep, thumbs up. But I, the best picture not made, I just, they were a huge disappointment. And that brings me to how I spent my evening. Uh, this, needs, this needs this story needs a little bit of um, a little bit of background. I was actually at the dump in my hometown, Hingham, Massachusetts, and they uh, they have this locker full of TVs, and I'm harvesting TVs right now for a project that me and Sam are doing. And um, I had about six seconds because like the monitor at the dump just turned her back, and me and my brother pulled off, and I was like, I got a couple seconds. I can jump out and steal one of the small ones. By the way, this is like the afternoon. I don't even know that the Oscars are going on at this point. You know, this is yesterday. I don't know that they're that night. So I leap out. I see one with a VCR built into it. And I'm like, I'm like, that probably has a tape in it. So I'm going to grab that one. So I grabbed it. And we went we drove away. And sure enough, um, there was a tape of a, a Jackie Chan movie that I'd never seen, which is a big deal for me. So um, when I'm driving, my brother's driving me home that night, and I hear on the radio, oh, the Oscars are tonight. Now, Sam was talking about, you know, uh, why were these people nominated? Why weren't these people nominated? And it's because popularity contest, and um, 
the, the academy is pretty much just jerking off all the time. And uh, I have very, very little respect for them. So, I said, fuck the Oscars. I'm watching Accidental Spy. I'm watching a Jackie Chan movie that I found I love Jackie at the dump in a VCR. And I did that as a protest against the Oscars. You remember the Thieves Guild? Huh? You remember the Thieves Guild? Am I? I am. As a matter of I'm fact. also a member of the Thieves Guild. I actually have a Nightingale armor. Jackie Chan is a member of the Thieves Guild. He it is. was actually a really good Jackie Chan movie. It had some good stunts. He, um, there's a part when he took out a plane that was taking off with a motorcycle. Um, it was a good one. I also saw Angry Red Planet recently, which was really good. Yeah. A little bit of a side note. It's one of the coolest mo movie monsters in it ever. Like, real cheesy sci-fi movie about, um, uh, you know, guys going to Mars, but, um, real good, you know, uh, spooky 60s sci-fi vibe. You know, great, looks great. Check it out. And they, they color correct all the scenes on Mars to be all red and embossed looking. Oh, that sounds pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now that I'm back, which I just fell down the stairs, by the way, it's pretty funny. In any case, no, it was all right. Uh, so we're going to talk about what movies are coming out now and why it's exciting that they're coming out. Um, movies coming out. Um, the Lorax. I'm actually pretty excited for The Lorax to come out um, because it's got Danny DeVito as The Lorax, which is perfect. You know, I, I want to be excited about The Lorax, but given previous... Um, uh, Dr. Seuss films. I'm skeptical. Absolutely. Lorax is one of my favorites. Though. Lorax is awesome, so I'm really hoping. Absolutely. Lorax and they like they clearly they they're expanding the story so they can make a full like hour and a half. Maybe. But the way they're doing it is still by the book. They still have the boy. The story is about the boy that goes to hear the story. Yeah. So the story the, the movie is about that boy listening to the guy, the creepy guy in the house, like tell the story to the boy. He's listening to that, but then experiences the whole thing himself. So yeah, I almost see it as it takes place after the Lorax book in a way. It seems like that's what it is, but I think the Lorax is there too. I think he's really kind of like in a Well, yeah, no, story. I mean, obviously there is a Lorax yeah. in the Lorax. In any case, yeah, that's basically what it's going to be. And I'm really excited because that sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, and animation, holy crap, it just, they keep getting better and better. It looks really good. It looks great. Um, uh, we saw the beginning of um, the new Pixar movie, by the way. Oh, the release that. And... It, it's really well put together. Brave. I'm uh, really excited to breathe. I mean, it looks great. Uh, can't say anything about the story yet because I saw like two minutes of it. Yeah. But um, it looks awesome. Those two minutes with the freaking when the, the, the archery thing. Uh, just, oh. oh, I'm excited for that movie. Um, I'm looking at Rotten Tomatoes right now. There's, bullet, there's a movie called Let Bullets Fly. Oh, yeah. Um, right now, uh, lately, these 1920s uh, China movies have been really popular. It's apparently in the 1920s. Uh, Northern China had this kind of Wild West vibe where uh, there was just a lot of crazy shit going yeah. on. And since The Good, the Bad, and The Weird came out, yeah. um, those have been kind of popular. And uh, Let's Blow Us Fly looks awesome. It's getting 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It looks awesome. Which is super good. Yeah. Um, anyway, other things that are coming out. The Hunger Games. I'm really excited for that. I am read it. It's super awesome. You'd actually have to really like it. Uh, it's, I'm really cool. <laughs> Oh boy, am I excited for that movie. I don't care if it's not good. I, I'm just really excited for the movie. Um, what else is coming out? I don't know what anything's are. John Carter of Mars is going to come out eventually. It's probably going to suck, but I'm still going to see it. Um, a Murphy's got a new movie. A Thousand Words. Um, it's got Alice and Janney in it. I'm there. Eddie Murphy hasn't done Alice a good movie in a long time. I, I'm waiting for the next great Eddie Murphy movie. I think he's got one more good flick on him before he turns One more. One more. Before he goes actually crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, this movie Friends with Kids, which is uh, like Adam Scott and Kristen Wiig and uh, John Hamm and all of those, Maya Rudolph and all them. Uh, this movie is getting 100% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, which I don't know how many reviews that is. That just went backwards. Anyway. It's like one of those comedies for yuppies kind of movies. <laughs> uh, but, it, you know, sounds interesting. Um, in any case, I think that's all that's going on right now. Yeah. I don't know what else is going to be coming out. So, yeah, go see movies, guys. Support the business. Actually, no, steal the movies. Download them from the internet. But, but see, see them at the theater, too. See them at the theater. And get snagged at the theater, because that's actually the only way that movie yeah. theaters make money. Yep. Yeah. 
um, 100% of the ticket sales go back to the studio. So what you should do is you should theater hop, but buy snacks between every yes. show. Yes. Yes. No, I appreciate yes. that. I think at this point they just let you stay. Yeah. <laughs> they just don't care. Okay, so wait, hey, wait. someone sent us a link. Oh, oh wait, wait, no, 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 click on it on here. Click on it here. Wait, is this is this dangerous? What's gonna happen? If I click From on no it? porn up. What's a funny movie that just came out? Not like Super Bad or Knocked Up. Those weren't funny. I thought Chuck and Larry was a riot. Adam Sandler and the King of Queens guy. Darjeeling Limited is intelligent humor. Very good film. I like it, but that is a hilarious answer. Death at a Funeral. Hilarious movie. I watched it with my boyfriend and ate my parents. Oh, and my parents. And ate my parents. <laughs> and we all agreed it was an absolute crack up. Okay. Um, other people can explore this link. It's just some kind of thread that Chris has posted shit. I, I, I just love Yahoo Answers. Right. And it's just the question that's, that's the goal. Yeah. What's a funny movie that just came out? Not like Super Bad or Knocked Up. Those weren't that funny. Super Bad was fucking hilarious. Yes, it really was. Anyway. Now we get to on. Oh, 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 oh. we have okay. <laughs> we have a new thing for you today. Uh, we have with our for, with our segments. We actually have segment. We have uh, what do you call them? Uh, screen cards. What we, do have, you call them? we have uh, animations. We have animations that, that introduce our segments. Uh, how do you open this? Uh, drag it to VLC. Oh, right, right, right. Where is VLC? Uh, yeah, open VLC. I got it, I got it, I got it. There we go. Okay. Oh. All right, everybody. Hang on. Wait, just, I don't know what just happened. Here it comes. It's not, it's not coming. Hang on, hang on. It's freaking out. It's okay. You're going to do it. It's going to work. Shit. It's because it's not looping. Ah! We worked really hard for like ten for like minutes. ten minutes on this. Good. No, no, get smaller. Oh, damn it! Hang on, I almost got. Oh, God, I hate everything. All right, Brian, talk for a minute while I fix this. All right. Um, I don't fucking know what to talk about. Talk about art and stuff. Oh, we're going to put them. That we, okay, you blew it. I, I didn't blow it. Our no. next segment is art and stuff. I'm almost there. And today on art and stuff, we're uh, we're actually talking about video games. Um. And I'll tell you why. This is a waste of fucking time. <laughs> it doesn't work, man. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't work. So uh, it doesn't work. Today on our and stuff, next week we're going to have these awesome calls for our, for our segments. But, um, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Just move on. Okay. Um, the art of uh, video games is coming to uh, the Art of America Museum of... Uh, Smithsonian American Art Museum in D.C. Um, in just a couple weeks. I think March 14th? March 16th. Um, this is opening up. It's been a long time coming. Uh, if you remember, there were votes um, on the internet for what game should be in it. And the way it's broken down, it's in five different um, eras. Uh, like the era, you know, the um, earlier and the 8-bit and the, um, the bit wars and Transition and Next Generation, which is pretty much Mario games. Um, and uh, I could talk about it, so I will. Um, I, I, I take a little bit of issue with some of the ways it's set up. Uh, for example, they, they first of all, the voting uh, for games, um, I'm all about democracy. That's great that they uh, had Pape Scully, um video game fans curate this show. Hang on just a second. Yeah. Care now. Okay, go. They had video game fans curate the show. Basically, anyone um, could go onto the Smithsonian website and vote to decide what would get into the show. Now, the sound is great, but the problem is um, gamers, you know, it's a community thing, tend to get into these ruts where they're just sniffing the ass of some game. Yeah. Whether it's good or not. Um, which means it, it did turn into kind of a popularity contest, and there were a lot of things that were left out. Um, uh, but for the most part, it's actually a really good review. Um, Minecraft is going to be uh, is going to be in it. And Portal Two is going to be in it, and um, well, uh, let, let me let me go through a little bit. Uh, I don't know a ton of stuff about video games, but the video games I do know are the very popular ones, and therefore I. 
so really we connected, cool. even though I'm not. Uh, both the original and the N64 Star Fox are going to be looked at. Which is um, awesome. Zelda games from every generation are going to be looked at. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to go down the whole list now, but it's... Um, Bless it's, you! It's a pretty solid review. Worms Armageddon, one of my favorite nice. games ever, uh, is going to be at. Um, uh, they're going to a thing on Dreamcast, and um, I think uh, because it was by vote, a lot of the a lot of the games that are now kind of recognized as uh, kind of lost classics, I guess you could call them, um, that didn't do super well on their initial release, but really got a lot of recognition later. Uh, Psychonauts comes to mind. Um, uh, Vector Man on uh, Sega Genesis and. Um, uh, what's it called? I don't know. Body Harvest on N64. Body Harvest. There's a lot, a lot of those types of games that um, weren't necessarily popular when they came out um, are unfortunately unrepresented. Even though a lot of them are fantastic. If you've ever played Psychonauts or Body Harvest, they're unbelievable. I like Fighting Force 64. That's pretty good. Katamari Damacy is not in the show. Uh, oh, that's ridiculous. That That is one of the most beautifully designed games ever. Um, one of the other issues I take with it is that early on, um, they, they, they broke down the games into categories. They were Tetris. Action, Target, Adventure, and Tactics, um, which kind of made sense for the early games, but, um, I mean, that doesn't really apply, because, you know, Target, you know, like uh, Space Invaders is um, one of the Target games that they target as their category that they use for the early uh, early ones. And then later when they get, uh, when they're looking at N64, it's like they used Star Fox 64, but like how do you compare Star Fox 64 to Perfect Dark? Yeah. Those are both target games you could say. But anyway, it's weird. Um, I love Star Fox 64. Uh, and one of the other, one of the games that got left out, and this is our real thing, um, it was on the nomination, uh, but of course for the actions uh, um what do you call genre. it? Genre. Genre. On um, Super Nintendo, of course, Super Mario World got nominated. Well, of course. Which, it is. Is, which is great. It's the foundation of so many other games. It is. Um, but, I mean, it didn't bring... Yeah, it did. It was great. It was awesome. It was I'm not awesome. dissing it. But, um, one of the other nominees was Donkey Kong Country. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Speaking Country. of Donkey Kong Country. Country, check out the event photo. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Same. Donkey Kong Country, I mean, the whole series is great on Super Nintendo. Donkey Kong Country 2 is the Sistine Chapel. Diddy's, Diddy's Conquest Diddy's Con Con is Con Quest, yeah. the most beautiful game design in history. Every level is unique. I mean, not unique as in yeah. completely unique, but like everyone brings something different. The music is incredible. It was one of the first games, maybe the first game, or I think Donkey Kong Country was the first game. Ever used 3D rendering. Oh, yeah. Was, um, to, to uh, render the characters in a, in a as they were they two D but here, as if they appeared as to have volume to hold volume. Um, and uh, it's just if you haven't played this game, yeah, it's great. It's unbelievable. Um, uh, and it, it's got this. It's got a feel to it. Like I've never. It's you know, it's, it has more mood and mystique than any. It's hard to have a, a two D side scroller have a lot of atmosphere. I would, and this game had I atmosphere. Would, I would choose season. that game over Skyrim, Minecraft, and Half-Life 2 combined. I might. Imagine that. Imagine those three games combined into one. Um, you should see me you know, try an emulator if you're in yeah. games. Yeah, super and you don't easy have to find classes. emulators. Um, Google SNES emulator, and you'll get it. Nostalgia glasses. I don't know what that means. It sounds fun, though. Um, these comic is awesome. So anyway, the exhibit, it's at the Smithsonian, at the American Museum of Art. Um, I'm going to go down just for it. I'm really excited. i got a couple friends who are uh, in, in game design. I might go down there, too, with him, because my parents live there. And um, uh, it's, uh, I'm going to take a special tip drip down for it. I know I've, I've nitpicked it a little bit, but really, it is a really good review. And it's mostly just great that the Smithsonian is recognizing gaming as an art Yeah. Game. Forty years now, you realize, since since uh, they started making these. It seems like a modern thing. Forty years. Forty. Since they started making these, since they, they made the first video games. Things like the Odyssey, and even before that, um, like the early Pong consoles yeah. that were like made on the radar screens yeah. and stuff like that. Um, we're looking at 40 years of art history. Um, and I know all about that because I'm in art school. 
Art school. Art and stuff. Art and stuff. No, video art games. And stuff. Video game design is an art form. Bottom line, go to the Smithsonian, March 16th through, I think, like the end of September. It's going to be open all summer. Get get to DC and see So the kids show. can go see it. Yeah. Because they're not in school. Yeah. Anyway, so, now we have our new segment. <gasps> Care questions. And, uh, so, like I said earlier, we have to back up a little bit. Like I said earlier, <laughs> our first guest star, and actually, wait, screw it a little bit more, is actually going to be the lovely and charismatic Care Ferguson, Connie Care. Yeah. Hey everybody. Yeah, it's just oh, laggy. Oh, that's so well, where, where, oh, where, 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 where does shit go? Where, Wait, we're right here, dude. It's good. We're right here. No, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? What are you? I don't know what you're talking the, about. The, it's supposed to be there. What are you talking about? Where is the screen? Oh, oh, it's it's right it's right here. It's right it's right there. There we go. Okay, yeah, you're good. We're oh, close. Okay. We also got right here. Yeah. Um, we're actually, we're actually, we're just, it's, it's okay, just working out the kinks. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. anyway, hey, Karen, how you doing? Hey, Sam, hey, Ryan. Hey. I just saw you guys, like, what, 40 minutes ago? Yeah, yeah. 40 minutes ago. Karen oh. watches every show from downstairs. From downstairs in the animation room while we do it. And this is the first time, she's our first guest star because she's just, she's our biggest fan. She's our most loyal watcher, really, honestly. Who are you getting a call from? What the fuck is that? What's the number? 617-908. Boston. Oh, you should have answered it. In any case, so, for each care questions, care, for each care questions, we're going to have a special scroll that I made that has random questions on it that I made up and care has not seen yet. Brian, do you want to admit? I tied a bell in I really like the little hearts. The little, little care questions little on there. On there. Yeah, that makes a Yeah, it's pretty I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, care questions. Here we go. Okay. So how are you? I'm you feeling all right? Um, well, it's awesome. Yeah. I've also been staying screen for a while because I have been animating. Oh, yeah, okay, that leads right into our first question, which is what kind of work are you doing? Right now, um... Speak loud. I am going to speak very loudly and talk. The direction of the camera. Microphone. 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 Okay. Um, the work that I am doing, I'm currently a half-time student between SMFA and Tufts, so I am doing a lot of academics and art at the same time. My most uh, prominent project would be the animation that I am currently working on. Oh, you're an animator. I am an That's animator. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't know anything about that. You'd be saying. No. You guys are not that cool. No. Um, Right. Um, but it is an animation about my brother's pet lobster and how it tries to escape from its tank and how it often moves to its death. Well, that's an animation. No, that's not a question. I was about to answer the wonderful voice. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, what's the next question, Ryan? Uh, who is your greatest inspiration in life? In the life? In life?
Hopefully you eat pasta and you're selfish. Well, some people do have to eat pasta, but I like to think of myself as just a piece of pizza. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I really All right. really thought yeah, that I, 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 I really thought Hang on just a second, hang on. Okay, comment. It's okay, hang on just a second, hang on. Okay, comment. hang on. Okay, okay commenters, listen, I'm going to try. And it might work, we'll see. Tell me how it works. Okay, how does it sound now, guys? Does it sound That's better? Okay. There's a delay. Whoa. Whoa, weird. Better. Better. Oh. Awesome. Yay. 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 Okay, the problem was, for some reason, Sam Wade, if you're watching, the problem was it was on the camera microphone instead of the microphone in front of us. Well, that, that shit's sucks. fucked up. I don't know why. Just quiet. We'll just talk really loudly. We weren't, we're not going to talk really loud. Anyway, hooray, it's better. Here, wait, I can turn up the volume. Um, okay, but How's that? Continuing That's, I'm peeking. How's continuing that? Continuing with the interview. Is that better? Yeah. I okay. see smiley faces. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So next question, Care. Yes. What kind of pen? What kind of pen? Micron. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, oh, why shit. not? Why not? This is a completely unrelated question, mind you. Why not? Well, usually because there's some sort of consequence, but if there isn't, then why not? Yeah, okay. no, that's a really good, really good point. And now is yeah. the time where you actually have an opportunity to ask us any questions that you have. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's fun. Yeah, it's so much fun. <laughs> um, well, my first questions would be, I've never been in this space before. Good job, Sam White. Isn't this awesome? Studio. This is super cool. Yeah, that's not a that's question. Not a question that's though. A but Let's I, stay on topic, please. That was uh, a segue <laughs> into, <laughs> um, do you guys know the history about all these interesting things up on the wall? No. Uh, we don't, and we especially don't know why Sam White's like really into monster cans. Yeah, but it's there pretty was, there were, cool. There were, there were pictures of monster cans all over. They the were wall. everywhere. They're actually underneath us right I know now. What this is. It was Tom Clancy. I know that one. We drew that last Yeah, week. we drew that. That's the narwhal and the pyramid head. Do that you was guys Chris's. know the narwhal song? N nope. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, any other questions? Um. Oh, here's Tom. Here's oh, Tom. There's Tom Clancy. Yeah, I gotta put Ooh, Tom back up. Tom Clancy? Yeah. Hey, Tom, buddy. How you doing? If you could tell Tom Clancy anything, what would you tell him? I uh, would probably tell him that his pants are unzipped because I would have just put his penis in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> um, I'd probably tell him I'd read all his books even though I hadn't. Actually, yeah. this would be a fun question. If you could suck any man's dick, who would it be? Could or had to? Uh, could. You Like, this could. is a choice. Like, you have to suck someone's dick, but... So I, ha any... I have to suck a dick, but it can be any dick. Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Robin Hood. It'd be Robin Hood. Cool. Um, um, I don't know. I guess I'd. I'd... I think I answered that too quickly. <laughs> okay, um, Good for you. Can I look at their dick, or do I have to pick the person without knowing? <laughs> Eyes closed. <laughs> no, 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 well, no, like, no. Like, you like... want to make sure that the dick is like a certain way before you yeah. suck it. Like, why? What would be the qualifications? Um, I, I, I'd want a circumcised one. Okay. And the smaller, the better, pretty much. If I can find a good-looking guy with a tiny circumcised dick. Um, okay. hang on. I have to clarify my answer for Erica. The fox or Carrioles, uh, it would be the fox. <laughs> Robin Hood. <laughs> that, that just, I don't know what a fox penis looks like. Little John and the Friar could join if they wanted to. <laughs> Good to know that's what you're into, Sam. Fairy tales. I don't know if Friar <laughs> Jack would be into that. Oh, Actually, I think he would. You know what? Wait. Was was England still Catholic at that point? He maybe would yeah. be. Yeah. Okay, then fuck it. He's all about yep. that. Cool. You're a little Actually, old no, you know what? It would be Kevin Costner is who it would be. It would be the Kevin Costner Robin Hood. Okay. And Morgan Freeman would be there just watching with his with his cut. He would narrate the whole thing? He would narrate the whole thing. And yeah, yeah, it would be awesome. Sam oh, wrapped cool. his lips around Robin Hood's penis. For the last time. And the first time. And the first time. Anyway, hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Care. Do you have any more questions for us? Oh, no, I'm good. Good job. Everybody give Care a round of applause. Our Brian. first yeah. guest. Our Thank first you guys. guest. Okay, now the show is ending. We have five minutes left, even with those really insane fucking technical difficulties that you're all going to complain about for the next three days Woo! to us face to face. We still ended with five minutes left. 
for our final segment, Sing in the Comments. We have, so Care is actually gonna stay with us because that's how it's gonna go from now on. The guest star is going to stay with us and sing the comments as well. Um, I'm not actually gonna sing the comments because I am un I'm not able to read that. I can see Bunny's Nad now I'm gonna pull kittens, it up over here. But I, I, I can't actually read it because I can't see that well. You still gotta get your contacts. I gotta get new contacts. You gotta see, that's important. Meow, 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 meow. Right. Alright, hang on, we're gonna pick it up a little bit, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah, let's, let's um go. let's switch off lines, Kay. Okay. Uh -huh. Now to Everyone! Bye.